In this video we're looking at how to upgrade or change the RAM in uh, your Dell Notebook. I've got a Latitude D620 as my test system here. Uh, it really doesn't matter which Inspiron or Latitude Notebook you've got or which Dell Notebook as a matter of fact. The, the RAM is usually located in the same place. Um, so let's flip the laptop over. Let's look at the first RAM slot. The, each notebook has two RAM slots. Uh, one is located under the keyboard and one is located on a back panel on the underside of the laptop. Uh, as always before working with uh, opening up your laptop, make sure there's no power connected to the laptop. Also make sure you take the battery off so the laptop has no power whatsoever. So there goes the battery. Remember to ground yourself so you've got no static build up by touching something metal. Um, okay, now each Dell laptop or notebook will have a panel underneath the laptop. So this panel will have one screw holding it down. If we remove that screw, the whole panel comes away from the laptop. And there we have our that slot 2. Um, that's where your second RAM slot goes in. The first, as we said, is under the keyboard. This is where your second goes into place. Um, if we take a, a closer look at that, as you can see, that's the RAM chip there. It's being held in by two metal uh, levers on each side. Um, if we pull away these two metal levers, the RAM chip pops up and we can easily remove it. There we go. To put the RAM, therefore to upgrade your RAM or to if that slot was empty, uh, you simply put your RAM in at an angle, about a 30 to 35 degree angle, push it in as far as it will go. Um, once, once you've pushed it in as far as it will go, you'll see all the contacts disappear underneath into the connector. Then simply push the RAM down, the clips on each side will spring away, it clip back and clamp the RAM down into place, and then we just put the cover back on top, screw the cover back down, and there we have it, you've added more RAM to your system, it's really as, as simple as that. Uh, the, the main part you really need to uh, take care of is to make sure you've got no static build up. Um, the other RAM slot, uh, RAM slot 1, it's located under the keyboard. This is the one which may be a bit more tricky if you're not very technically competent. Um, we need to open the laptop completely so the screen is completely open. Uh, we've then got the hinge across the top where all the power button and so on are. Uh, best to use a plastic scribe for this but on one side you'll see a little indentation uh, where that is. If we remove the hinge just gently but firmly. The hinge is quite flexible, um, it, it shouldn't break. There we go, that's the hinge removed. Put that to one side. And here we've got four screws holding the keyboard in place. Um, three screws, sorry, on this model. It does vary model to model between Inspirons and Latitude. Sometimes you'll have three, sometimes you'll have four. On this model we have one screw here, here and here. So it's any screw just connected to the keyboard unit that you can see. Um, if you just remove each of them one by one. That's the second screw. And the third one. Once all three have been removed, um, simply grip your keyboard pull it up a little, it will unclip from the sides, so I've got it unclipped from this side, I'm going to push it slightly across the other way, and it will unclip from the other side, you then pull the keyboard up, be very gentle here because the keyboard is connected with a ribbon underneath which we'll see shortly, tilt the keyboard up, and there's, there's the ribbon that's connecting the keyboard to the main board, um, that's connected in, that wasn't connected in probably before, it is now. Um, if you're very careful, you can actually tilt the keyboard over and leave the keyboard tilted over 
uh, while you replace the second RAM slot which is just there um, or you can remove the keyboard by simply pulling back on a clip there and removing it, the connector from the main board um, so as we can see we've got our second RAM chip just there uh, again it's being held in with two clips one on each side there and just down there so we've got one metal lever there the other metal lever on the other side just there pulling these metal levers apart and the the RAM chip will pop up to about 30-35 degree angle just like it did on the underside of the, underside of the laptop and we can replace that uh, same procedure as we did uh, on the underside of the laptop the uh, RAM goes in at about 35 degree angle, push it in and then push the RAM chip down back into place and that should be fine um, and we just need to replace the keyboard so put the keyboard back into place just as just as you removed it just pull the unit down a little so what we're going to do first is put the keyboard back into place from the bottom once it's slid and it, it's locked in under the case at the bottom just put it down lock it down on each side so it's in place on all sides screw the keyboard back into place with your three screws or four of its uh, inspiron careful with the screws they are a bit fiddly but you don't want any falling inside the laptop they can be a bit of a pain to remove once you have all three in place just give the lap, uh, keyboard a few presses just to make sure it's all securely in place and then finally you need to replace the hinge start at the left side hinge goes in on one place then firmly push the hinge down it into place as you go along again it's, it, it is quite flexible so uh, don't worry about breaking it or so on it does take quite a bit to actually break the hinge once that's all in place there we go that's all in place that's it that's your RAM upgraded so that's the slot one under the keyboard and slot two under the laptop bear in mind that usually the the slot under the keyboard does have a RAM chip already installed in it